Hi, welcome back. It's time for business. The Aviation Ministry says the Wild Airport will be open for commercial flights on October 15, 2019. Sector Minister Kofi Adai in a statement said this is part of government's commitment to promoting seamless air travel and connectivity within the country. We can bring you uh, that statement now as we connect the lines to speak with Richard Tre, who is head of commercial at Africa World Airlines. So he says the Ministry of Aviation wishes to inform the general public that as part of government's commitment to promote seamless air travel and connectivity within the country, the Wa Regional Airport would be open for commercial flights by Africa World Airlines on the 15th of October 2019. The commencement of commercial flight operations to the Wa Regional Airport is due to the successful testing and confirmation of the pavement condition number of the runway and other facilities that meet international standards of safety. This feat has been achieved in collaboration with the Ghana Airports Company Limited, the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority, local airlines operating in the country. It forms part of government's pledge to encourage and support local airlines and entrepreneurs to set up strong private airlines that can fully utilize the nation's root rights in line with government's vision to make Ghana an aviation hub within the sub-region. So we can speak now with uh, Robert Terrell, who is um, head of commercial at the Africa World Airlines. Thanks for your time tonight. And so we understand that your airline has been pushing for this route to be operational, and now we have it. I guess it's right timing, isn't it? Sure, and uh, we are very happy. And the uh, at Africa World Airlines, we really believe in the potential of um, every market, that's the air market within our region. And this is going to be a good news and also to boost the economic activities in the upper west region for Ghana. But in terms of numbers, uh, does this make business sense to fly all the way? We understand that uh, it may not be viable because not so many people travel that route. Is that right? Uh, for us, AWA, we will only dry our clothes where there is sunshine. Is a profit-making airline, and we are not going to start any route to fill. Currently, if you look at where we fly to in terms of Tamale, which is the closest uh, to Wa, we are lifting close to 2,700 passengers weekly. And looking at the distance from Tamale to Wa, close to four, four and a half hours by road, this tells you there is a big, I mean, I mean, a need, I mean, demand when we fly to work. Uh, and of course, we believe in creating routes, stimulating and developing them. And this has been our call, and this has been something that we delight in doing to, uh, I mean, actualize in our air transport marketing class. All right. And finally, before you go, we are talking about seamless travel. And I know that uh, in the past few weeks, uh, you introduced a mechanism that allows for every air passenger to be able to buy or purchase a ticket at a local airport for an international flight. How is that going? This has been a, um, this has been a very um, seamless operational system that we have introduced. And uh, but trust me, we started this almost a year ago, and uh, we only announced the general public after we have tested and tried and we realized this has actually brought um, a seamless uh, I mean, I mean, travel to our passengers. But currently, like we explained in our community for the first time, you can purchase a ticket from any of our domestic points to any market set with our partner airlines. Looking at us, Emirates, Ethiopian Airlines, Akai. So this is the convenience that we are bringing to our Ghanaian passengers. All right, one quick one before you go. So when do you hope to make your first landing at the Wa Airport? This is going to be on Tuesday, 15th of October. And uh, not only the Wa traffic, we are also stimulating the Tamale Wa traffic. So quite apart from flying to Wa, we are also going to have um, passengers flying from Wa to Tamale and Tamale to Wa. And with a 99-city fare passengers, can fly between these two I mean, destinations. All right. Thanks very much uh, indeed. That was Richard Tre, head of commercial at the Africa World Airlines. In other news tonight, the International T Chamber of Commerce Ghana is pushing for more resources for exporters in the country to improve earnings from non-traditional exports. This follows a 10% jump in Ghana's earnings from 
non-traditional exports to hit $2.8 billion. Chief Executive of the Chamber, Emmanuel Donikwame, tells Joy Business the figures show that exporters could have improved greatly with little support. The aspect of trade facilitation in the AFCFTA, it's a small less similar to the one in the WTO agreement. So by implementing this, we end up implementing both. And what have we done so far at the port? We have the single window, we've gone paperless. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's not an event, it's, it's a process. So we always have to monitor to be sure, whatever the vice president said, that get more goods on the green zone. We make sure we have more goods in the green zone so goods are cleared quickly. And then the aspect of risk management is also looked at. You know, security issues are also looked at. So going forward, uh, we have a new Terminal 3, you know, uh, well efficient port, which we think is even bigger for our market. But with the AFCFTA coming into place, yes, a lot of transshipment can go through Terminal. You know, people can bring smaller boats and big goods. But the end result is for us to produce a lot of made in Ghana goods, you know, under the 1D, 1F. That's, that's the only way out, you know. We can't have this huge port, have all the TFA thing working when we are not producing a lot of goods for export, you know. There have been reprisals following xenophobic attacks in South Africa. MTN Nigeria has been affected. We've got details of this and other business stories from around the world. The total value of mobile money transactions for the first six months of this year reached 140.2 billion CDs, up from the 104.6 billion CDs recorded in the same period in 2018. The Nigerian division of South African telecom operator MTN said on Wednesday it will shut all stores and service centers in the country until further notice after its facilities in three cities were attacked. The facilities were attacked in retaliation after days of riots in South Africa, chiefly targeting foreign-owned, including Nigerian businesses. Meanwhile, South African grocer ShopRite Holdings also said several stores in its home market, Nigeria and Zambia were closed and extensive damage had been done to several supermarkets over the past 24 hours. Google has agreed to pay a record of $170 million penalty to settle accusations that YouTube broke the law when it's not only tracked and sold ads targeted to children, the Federal Trade Commission said Wednesday. The settlement involves the largest ever penalty under the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, which YouTube allegedly violated by collecting user information from kids to fill out its behavioral advertising business. Hurricane Dorian is the strongest storm ever to hit the Bahamas and the country will struggle to get its tourism-based economy back on track for quite some time. Dorian has been moving slowly over the islands. The storm made landfall Sunday over the Abacus Islands as a Category 5 with maximum sustained winds. The damage to the Bahamanian economy might be mitigated by the path of the storm which is currently crawling over the northern Bahamas. And finally tonight, a look at your market numbers. That's all in business. My name is Daryl Clark. Thanks for watching. Sports is up next.